National Championship Wrestling featuring the superstars of professional wrestling. Bill Mascaras, Ivan Koloff, the Mongols, Ernie Ladd, Tex McKenzie, Dick the Bulldog Brower, the Mighty Igor, Thunderbolt Patterson, the Love Brothers, Cowboy Bob Ellis, Eric the Red, Gino Brito, and Dino Bravo, Rip Hawk, Luscious Larry Hainamimi, Argentina Apollo, and Luis Martinez. Fans, welcome to the very first episode of IWA Wrestling. I'm Adam Parsons, and next to me is a face you might know if there's some face paint on it, or maybe if we shaved your head and put a little ponytail in the back. I'm not going to do that now. <laughs> this is Bolo Mongol, who is now known as Bell Eady. He was Demolition Act, Super Machine, and the Mass Superstar. And Bill, it's my honor to have you here oh, today. Oh, it's good to see you again. You know, the IWA is a, a groundbreaking promotion when you talk about they were Eddie Einhorn was the owner of the Chicago White Sox, is that correct? Or he was an office... Later became. Later, later became, became, okay. So, had a very wealthy man, lots of money, and he had this idea of trying to put wrestling on the national stage, but he's about 10 years maybe too early for America. Well, he was a big wrestling fan, and I think that his concept, as we now know, took off later. But you're right, I think that... But he, he needed to surround himself with a few more honest people, and unfortunately he didn't. Well, that's the unfortunate things that happened, but what you're going to get to see here, fans, is you're going to see a lot of great superstars of the 70s, guys like the Mongols, you guys were the tag team champions at the time, Mel Mascaris, Bulldog Brower, Tex McKenzie. I mean, there's the list goes on and on here when you talk about IWA. Well, it was, it was the cream of the crop at that time. Uh, he was smart enough to realize that he was going to need name recognition all across the country. And like you say, if this would have been a few years later, uh, different people helping him, it would have taken off and you'd have what you have right now. Absolutely. Fans, we're going to take you to our first match. It's Arriba, Luis Martinez, and Argentino Apollo in action. And look out, the special referee is George Becker. Ladies and gentlemen, these matches are sanctioned by the International Wrestling Association. This is a tag team match with an international flavor. Introducing first in the corner on my right, weighing in at 236 pounds out of New York City, Joe Maddy. His partner, his partner weighing 245 pounds out of Toronto, Canada, Bull Johnson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, entering the ring with 234 pounds out of Mexico, Louis Martinez. And his partner weighing 224 pounds out of Argentina, the one and only Argentina Apollo. One fall with a 15 minute time limit and a special referee for this match, the internationally famous George Becker, Becker. Well, hi again, everybody, and welcome to more exciting action right here on International Championship Wrestling, sanctioned by the International Wrestling Association. Jack Reynolds at ringside, along with the big guy from the Lone Star State, Tex McKenzie. Well, I'm telling you, my good friend, Louis Arriba Martinez and Argentina Apollo are the most spectacular tag team combination I've seen in this wrestling ring for a long time. I might add that we not only have one, but we have three tag team affairs coming up in our program today. You'll also have an opportunity to see a special handicap match featuring the world's strongest professional wrestler, the mighty Igor. Well, the bell... There's the bell right now. Your referee, George Becker, has called for the bell, and this match is officially underway. Joe Maddy, who is really looking great these days, out of New York City against Louis Martin. Now, what's Bull Johnson doing in there? That Bull Johnson just loves to get into a good fight. George Becker, very famous wrestler, 
all through the Carolinas and the southeastern United States. A marvelous sportsman, and I guess probably one of the one of the most respected men in our wrestling profession. Nice fellow, good referee. Louis Martinez and Joe Matty going at it right now. Louis going as he does so well, going with the with the legs. That didn't make Joe feel any too happy. Vittorio Argentina Apollo, Louis Martinez's partner. Beautiful leg trip. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at Apollo. He's just bursting with energy. Can't wait to get in there. It's going to be an exciting, exciting match. Louis going for a step over toehold right now. Here's a tag, and here comes Argentina Apollo now applying the pressure on the left leg of Joe Matty. This is a one fall. 15-minute time limit, wrestling fans. Apollo does things that no other wrestler in the world can do today. Very reminiscent of the very famous old-timer Argentine Rocca. A tag in there by Joe Matty, and in the ring right now is the Canadian star, Bull Johnson. Bull Johnson and Vittorio... Argentina Apollo. Good headlock, strong headlock in there by Apollo. A couple of shoulder smashes in there. Look at that. Beautiful cartwheel. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful maneuver. That's a back kick. That's his famous Apollo back kick in there. Bull Johnson had no idea where that kick was coming from. Bull wants no part of Apollo right now. You know, as you mentioned, Tex, he is very reminiscent of the fantastic man the, that I recall as a youngster, Antonio Argentina Roca. Watch this. Watch. Look at, look at that. that. How about that? Oof, like a ballet dancer in that ring. Boy, that oh, there goes Bull Johnson. <laughs> he wants no part of it. Bull Johnson. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this beautiful backdrop in there. A backdrop over the back of Bull Johnson, a rollover takeover, and Antonio Argentina Apollo Vittorio, excuse me. Vittorio Argentina Apollo back up on his feet. Boy, he's graceful, Tex. Beautiful. I may have said this before in one of our future uh, programs preceding this one that I was in Japan with, with Apollo last year. And I'm telling you, it was a real pleasure to be there. The Japanese just went wild about the man. They followed him. He couldn't walk down the streets. It was just beautiful. It was a love affair immediately with Apollo. Our camera picking up Joe Matty and Bull Johnson as they were both out of the ring. Bull is in there right now. Joe Matty is in there. Your referee, George Becker, warning Joe Matty. Look at this. Apollo doesn't know which way to go, so he's taking on both. But Joe Matty didn't know where to go either. That's right. A couple of back kicks in there. Beautiful back kicks in there by Argentina Apollo. Strong headlock in there right now by Bull Johnson. There's Joe Matty. Looks like a little double teaming coming up. Look at Johnson smashing away. Look at Apollo kid out. Apollo's giving a few, few pounds away to Matty. Joe Matty weighing in at 236 pounds, heading for New York City. And Bull is in at 245. Look at this. Wow, that looked like an atomic backbreaker in there. I think that was a, that was a form of a super devastating hold. Matty is hurt. Both men are hurt. Apollo trying to tag Louis. There's a tag. Here comes Louis Martinez against Joe Matty. Arriba, Louis Martinez. Looked like a karate smash in there by Louis Martinez. That's what it was. Arriba. There goes Louis. Step over Toho. Down with the pressure. Boy, those are devastating moves. They really, oh, he's got an Indian deathlock on him. That's Louis Martinez's famous Indian deathlock. He's one of the masters of that, that great hold, the Indian deathlock. Now, he has got Matty beat. 
If there's no way they can get out of that hold. Referee George Becker asking Matty if he's had enough. Nothing doing, though. Watch. If Matty gets out of this, it'll be the first time I've seen anybody get out of this hole for a long time. Now, Louis is in command. Louis is in command, but watch Bull Johnson. Our camera will pick up Bull as he makes his way into that ring. And you can bet that he's waiting for the right, for the right moment. Becker's he's got, got his eye on him. Have you noticed that? Right. George Becker, not only a fine professional wrestler, but a great referee as well. Warning Bull Johnson to hang on to that Australian tag team rope there in his corner. Look at Bull. Look at Bull Johnson. The Indian deathlock still being applied. Now here's a tag. For some reason, Louis is tagging Apollo, Argentina Apollo, and Apollo coming right back in there with, it looks like, some sort of a variation of a... I have I've a, never seen that before. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I have He's got him in a double leg lock right now. A Chris Ross double leg lock being applied by Argentina Manning got, Apollo. Manning got a good punch in there. Got the eyes too, Tex. Got the eyes of, look at Bull Johnson. There he is. Bull Johnson grabbing at Argentina Apollo. Joe Matty pounding away. And a beautiful, look like a toe scissors in there. What a recovery. Another backdrop. There goes Louis. Louis going after Bull Johnson. He's there. got him. He's got him. He's got the Australian tag team rope. He's got that tag team rope. Look at, choking away on Bull Johnson. There he is. Bring there he over. comes. There he is. Look at it. Oh, Bull, look at this. Bull Johnson taking a battering. Louis working over Bull with the bell. Picked up the bell. Now there goes Bull Johnson with the bell. Now Louis's got the bell. And they've got Bull again. Bull the Johnson is hearing shot. bells. And look at Bull Johnson's got his own tag team partner. He's trying to press his own tag team it. partner. That's got to be Have you it. ever seen anything like that, wrestling fans? Unbelievable. And the referee has called for the bell. And George Becker now. There goes Argentino Apollo. The bell has sounded. Let's go up to the ring right now. And our ring announcer. Well, our ring announcer is hesitating to give you the final decision, and we'll see what that is in just a moment. Because right now, there's still plenty of action in that ring. Look at this. Look at Bull Johnson. Oh, my goodness. Look at Bull. What a tremendous fall. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Louis Martinez in Argentina, Apollo. It looks like they're going after Bull. Bull's had enough, though. He's fighting back. He what? Look at this, Louis. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at this. Argentina Apollo, Joe Matty, Louis Martinez. They aren't gonna quit. gentlemen <laughs> that's all tag team action at its finest I wish I could explain exactly what's going on ladies and gentlemen but believe me I lost count of look at this look at this now the referee has gotten involved <laughs> George Becker's involved. They won't stop. I've never seen anything like this. Bull Johnson, look at that. This is mayhem. And a double backdrop. There goes Bull Johnson. That's it. 
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this match, Luis Martinez and Argentina Apollo. There's the bell. There's Next the bell. I have a bell upon it. Okay. I'm glad to be here. Tex, it's good to talk to you. Good to and see you, Arriba. Say is one word. Arriba! <laughs> That's it, baby. I want to say this in very simple words. I know I don't speak very good English. I've been many years in the United States. I had a lot to learn. But the only thing I say, in that ring, I want the best. You better give it to me. That's Vittorio Argentina Apollo and Louis Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ourselves together while we take this time out. Well, there's a lot of exciting action happening at the end of that match there. I mean, there's, I don't think there's any doubt in the people's minds that Argentina Apollo and Louis Martinez were going to win that match. But it makes it really special to get to see a mid-Atlantic legend like George Becker as the referee. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, well-known in that area. And you know, he had, a, he had a pretty good temper, so I'm sure he, he wanted involved in the fray, too. Absolutely. It's hard when you lace up the boots for so many years to be in that role where, you know, you're in the ring, but you can't really do anything. you got to go with it. When the, when the moment <laughs> strikes, you got to go with it. You got to see that tag team match, and now you're going to see a very good tag team match between two top contenders in the IWA. The Love Brothers, Hartford and Reggie Love, which at that time were one of the best bad guy tag teams in the 70s, I mean, they could just draw incredible heat and really made an impact no matter what territory they went to. Yeah, very charismatic. They had a lot of excitement in their matches. They could, they could draw the fans into the match. They paid attention to the, to the fans and uh, upset the fans quite often. Right. Well, that was their job. They're going to get to face the number two seeded team at this time in the IWA, Dino Bravo and Gino Brito. So you got two Canadians that kind of came down in that territory and then... You were with Dino Bravo in many different places. You were with him in the IWA, you came in the Mid Atlantic right. a little bit, you got to go with him in New York. Well, so that was a guy you know, that Dino, and Dino was the physique guy, the good looking, uh, uh, soft, baby face type of guy with a lot of excitement. Gino was more grizzled and uh, had more experience. But, you know, this is going to be a, a heck of a match. Well, let's go to the ring. Ladies Jack and gentlemen, Rowe. our next match will be one fall with a curfew time limit. Introducing, first of all, hailing from Boston, Massachusetts, with a combined weight tonight of 456 pounds, Hartford and Reginald, the Love Brothers. <laughs> Accompanied by their manager tonight, Al Costello. And their opponents, ladies and gentlemen, with a combined weight of 457 pounds, Hailing from Italy, the Italian connection, Gino Brito and Dino Bravo. Jack Reynolds at ringside along with Big Tex McKenzie. And boy, what a match this is going to be. All right, there's the bell. It'll be Hartford Love starting things off against Dino Bravo. What a good-looking young guy he is, boy. That's right. I'm telling you. He's the got it all going for him, doesn't he, Tex? You better believe it. I just love to double date with him because... He just can't take out more than two or three at a time. There's a tag. Here comes uh, Reginald Love in there right now against Dino Bravo. Air pull, takedown by Reggie. Referee Larry Nichols warning Reginald Love about those tactics. Every now and then, wrestling fans, uh, if you listen, you'll be hearing Al Costello blowing that whistle in the corner of the Love Brothers. I'll tell you, he runs the show from that corner, doesn't he? You better he believe it. And that whistle's a tremendous idea because the various whistles mean various signals, and uh, they never get their signals crossed either, by the way. Full Nelson. Hartford magnificent, Love. Magnificent, uh, magnificent athlete. Hi, ah, reversed it, Jack. Beautiful move in there by Dino Bravo. Dino Bravo, the Italian, one half of the Italian connection. Got another full Nelson. Beautiful, beautiful recovery. Nice drop kick in there by Dino Bravo. A flying head scissor. Good move in there by young Dino. I tell you, this, this Italian connection impresses me. The more and more I see them, boy, they, 
they are just great. That's right. I think they're, to be honest with you, Jack, they're destined for the tag team championship in the world. Well, coming from you, Tex, that's that's quite a compliment. No, I really mean it. They they are tremendous. Gino Bravo is a, oh, look at that, a beautiful takedown. Gino Brito has got a leg hold on him. Can't tell which one that is, Hartford or? That's Hartford Love in there Hartford right Love. now. I like. thought it might be. That's Hartford, Hartford in the green, for those of you that are watching International Championship Wrestling. Here comes, referred to many, by many, Rotten Reggie. <laughs> Reginald Love in there right now. Against Dino Bravo. A couple Dino of reverse Brito. arm locks yep. in there. Both men reversing the arm lock. All right, now, this yeah. is what I this is what I, I mentioned before. The blowing of the whistle and the instructions from Al Costello, the manager of the Love Brothers. All right, both men right now. There's the hair pull. Double teaming. Tex. Trunks. Trunks. He's got the trunks. Pulling the trunks of Gino Brito. Couple of rope blows in there. They got Brito in trouble. There's a tag. Here comes Hartford. Pushing him back into the corner and prodding away is Hartford Love. Look at Costello. He's got the. He's holding him. He's no got, he he's got him by the there. ankle. Holding the foot. Look. So there, there he is. You know Bravo coming. You know Bravo coming over. Look at Al Costello. Double teaming going on. Look at him choking away. Our international championship cameras picking up the action. Dino Bravo trying to get in there to help his partner, Gino. Reginald's in the ring. Gino's in trouble. He's put in the punches in heavy. There's another tag. Here comes Hartford. Watch this. Double slam in there. Hair pull. Chin lock. And a hard right hand smash to the chest. Over the head. Here comes Gino. Oh, beautiful. Driving his head into the mat. Gino Brito, who has really been taking a pound in it. Yeah, he's reversing. Beautiful. There's a tag, and here comes Dino Bravo. Uh oh. And Dino Look out. Mad, Jack. Look out. Body slam. Elbow smash, elbow drop. Here's a tag. Here comes Reggie. Reggie pulling up the hair. Another body slam. Oh, Nothing doing. He missed it. Missed the elbow smash. Body slam by Dino Bravo on a try for a press. One. Oh, and Reggie oh, missing the kick. Both men maneuvering right now. There goes Dino Bravo Did and the Love Brothers that? right crashing into each other. And Al Costello's Costello gone wild. <laughs> there goes Costello. Watch him. He's got the boomerang. Al Costello with the boomerang. Line drop kick in there by Dino Bravo. Connecting. And the Loves are in trouble. They're out. They're out of the ring. Look at what a punch. Costello what took a his punch. Man. Look at oh. Al Costello. He's out. What a tremendous smash he took. Oh, brother. Look at Al Costello wrestling fans. He just took the smash of his life. Dino Bravo. A one-man gang in there. What a... Oh, another smash in there by Gino, a tag. Here comes Gino Brito in there. Whipping him into the ring ropes. Costello holding his nose. Look at Reggie climbing, crawling back. In there right now. Hartford Love, Gino Brito. Both men smashing into each other. There's El Costello. Costello's up no good, Jack. He's got the boomerang. There he goes. Watch him now. Air pull. Costello. I thought he was going to use it on. He's leery on because Gino. he knows that referee Larry Nichols is watching his every move. I'd like to make comment that uh, Nichols is doing a tremendous job of refereeing tonight. Double head smash in there by Gino Brito. Costello grabbed him by the leg. 
Al Costello is in. He is right now. <laughs> well, he's blowing his whistle. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I'm telling you what, this is a this is a wild mess. All right, there's a tag, and Dino Dino Bravo is back in there right now. We're getting a little bit of order back. Love. We're getting a little bit of order back. We're getting instructions from Costello. He better give him a little instructions. I'll tell you that. There's. All right, Dino Bravo in there. Reggie Love right now asking Dino. Uh oh, they got something going here. They got something going They're on. Trying to do something. Dino Bravo right now. Hard right hand smash. Look at Reggie. Reggie is grabbing Hartford Love in the corner. I can't figure out what's going on here. They're, they're, they're looking to do something. Neither can Costello. Costello's worried. All right, both men right now. Hartford Love in there against Dino Bravo. There's a tag, and here comes Reggie. Hartford, uh, Reggie's got him. Got a Caprizia's hold. Very popular in the Orient. They call it the Japanese nerve pinch. I know it. Working on that trapezius muscle. Oh, that's a devastating blow. That really, that really hurts. I had a kung fu wrestler get that on me one time in Japan, and I'm going to tell you something. Unless you've ever had it, in, had that hole put on you, you have no idea what happens to your neck muscles. Ladies and gentlemen, we certainly hope that you're enjoying this edition of International Championship Wrestling coming your way featuring the Love Brothers against the Italian Connection, Gino Brito and Gino Bravo. And right now, the Love Brothers look like they're coming back. They are. Gino's in trouble. You know, fighting back with a hard right hand smash to the jaw. What There's a, a tag. What a punch he has. I can't get over that punch he gave Al Costello. That was that move. Oh, good move. Here comes Costello. Costello right now waving that boomerang, trying to get at Gino Bravo. I want to tell you something. That Costello better take care of his boomerang or else those Italian connections are going to get him. That's Gino Brito in there right now, wrestling fans. Double teaming by the Love Brothers. There comes Dino. Referee Larry Nichols interceding. Double teaming. Look at this. Call it, Tex. Using the rope for a neck breaker. Costello. Costello's it. It's Wait going wild here. Referee has called for the bell. The referee has called for the bell. As the assault continues. The Love Brothers. They're running for cover. Here's the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the time having expired, the referee declares this contest a draw. That's a it. Draw. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack Reynolds at ringside along with Tex McKenzie. We want to thank you so much for joining us here on this edition of International Championship Wrestling. We'll see you again next week with Five, more exciting... Four, three... Lovely. Well, when you talk about tag team wrestling, those are two of the best tag teams of the time period, but even better than that, the Love Brothers manager is Al Costello. When you talk about tag team wrestling, yeah. I mean, that guy wrote the book on it. Oh, well, he wrote the book on it, and he was the predecessor for the Bushwhackers that the fans know now. And Al always liked to be in the action, so him not on the outside of the ring threatening, you had to pay attention to him because, you know, he's not ashamed to step in the ring and hit you with that boomerang. Right. If you're not going to accept him for the respect that you should have for him, that you're boomerang, gonna get it. <laughs> you're, yeah. you know, you, you better be on alert. Fans, that wraps up this week. Once again, this is Bill Eady. I'm Adam Parsons. And until next week, so long.